yeah, I didn't like the new the new trilogy, which I feel like most Star Wars fans didn't. Um, Did well, you? I I did. I was oh. really annoyed at Ryan Johnson. Oh wait, tell me why you did because I'm about to go off. Well, the the first movie, The Force Awakens. Okay, um, that one was decent. It was it was basically just a rehash of of A New Hope. It, it was. was like a new A New Hope. It was exactly it was like um, the same plot. But I don't care because it's a fun movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't I didn't have that much issue with it. Yeah. I was like okay, I mean, um, like, it's basically the same, but like at the same time, whatever. It was yeah. still decent. I mean, the first New, new Hope that was an excellent movie. So you uh-huh. Do it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, but the thing is, when you, when you, when Disney goes and says, "Okay, we're making a new trilogy," mm-hmm. and they say we're going to have J.J. Abrams do the first one, have Ryan Johnson do the second one, then have J.J. Abrams come back into the third well, one. Well, I don't think that was intentional. Like, like you're. When Ryan Johnson's whole thing is taking things that are already established and like changing expectations, it's it's not good when he's doing the middle the middle movie, because it's like instead of instead of creating a, a compelling story, J.J. Abrams for the third one has to resolve this nine movie long plot <laughs> and fix all the issues that Ryan Johnson made. So, so like if Ryan Johnson had done the last one instead, I feel like it would people would have been mad because he would have still shaken things up. But it would be the end instead of the middle. I understand what you're saying, but I don't care. It's still trash. <laughs> I understand that like maybe they did the best with the, what they were given, mm-hmm. but how about they were just given something good? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Like if you're gonna redo Star Wars, one of the biggest like franchises ever the mm-hmm. most popular you gotta do it right mm-hmm. you can't be putting trash like no well that's also another thing is that star wars is so big that they have so many differing views of people to like appeal to yeah and so no, no matter what you do <laughs> i really hope the mics didn't pick that up no matter what you do you're never gonna like satisfy all of them no so instead, you satisfy none of them, and that's what they did. <laughs> that's what they did. Yeah. What the crap was the emperor? Okay, episode oh, nine. No. That made me so mad. <laughs> Let's just undo Darth Vader's whole entire arc of his story. Line. And, and the, just... the incredible ability they had to bring him back, like the storytelling. They were just like somehow Palpatine <laughs> returned. That's it. And now Ray, freaking Ray, is his his granddaughter. So when did he get married? When did he have a child? Where was that in the storyline? And then also at the end, Ray's like, I'm Ray Skywalker. No, you're not. Like, <laughs> no. you're not. If you don't you don't associate yourself with the Skywalker lineage. I don't know. It was just that movie made me so mad. And then it's yeah, they just undid Anakin's whole entire like legacy. His whole legacy. Like he turns back to the good side. But, but no. The Emperor died. So what's the point? Who was Anakin's dad? <laughs> Am I supposed to know this? Exactly. So my thought process is um, Anakin's dad was Palpatine. So like Pal- so Anakin Skywalker. Palpatine, Palpatine Anakin. caused like Palpatine. the the um, immaculate conception of Anakin Skywalker, and because um, that's what it is. Like like he doesn't have a dad. Like the Force caused him to be born. Oh. Like that's. Is that what the storyline is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I feel like At least I dad. think so. I feel like I'm he has not... his dad his mom's lies <laughs> yeah. because she doesn't know who the dad is. Well, he, he can't know anymore because he's dead and That's... she's dead and everybody's dead. I kind of forgot Anakin had a mom for a second. I forgot like the whole... <laughs> He just came from nowhere. <laughs> in my head, Star Wars started with Revenge of the Sith, and that was it. And then I was like, Man. Revenge of the Sith? Oh, yeah, that's the third that's one. That's the third one. I kind of forgot what the <laughs> Attack of the Clones and uh, the Phantom Minutes uh-huh. existed for a second there. They had, like, Little Anakin.